Well, 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 NXT New Year's Evo is in the books. This show was hosted by Dexter Loomis, the one and only Dexter Loomis. But, man, what a show tonight. There was a lot of good matches, a pretty stacked card. Everything in this card felt important. And it kind of felt takeover worthy. Like, two or three matches felt like a takeover type of match. And it was a big night, not only because it was a special, like, pay-per-view, however you want to call it. It was the first NXT of 20. 21 so you knew they were gonna go all out so please make sure to subscribe like this video and let's get straight into the review we kicked off the night red hot with Karrion cross taking on damian priest i was expecting this match to go like their match of champa and uh Karrion cross back at takeover in your house i believe luckily it went a little longer because two of these guys in the ring you know is going to be a big fight field and it was it was kind of tv free match you know what i'm saying like, it was just given away on free TV. This could have definitely been a takeover, but hey, we got on free TV. Why not? And in this match, it was pretty cool. Not high spots, just two big mans going at it. And Karen Cross wins at the end, so that was pretty cool. Up next, we had Grandma Elite taking on Santos Escobar. Another good match, Lucha Libre style type of field. And at the end, I really thought Grandma Elite was going to win. But no, Santos Escobar did his finisher. Pretty good looking finisher, not going to lie. One, two, three. I'm assuming we're gonna get Lindsay Dorado versus uh, Santos Escobar soon, which I can't wait for that. But it was still a pretty solid, no, not solid. It was actually a pretty good match. You guys did not watch the show. Please go check it out. Take over worthy, if you ask me. Um, I'm next, we had this Zia Lee stuff. I don't know none of this. I really didn't watch it. All I know is that she won by like a kick or something. I'm not even gonna talk about it. I don't know what is this storyline. You know what I'm saying? I just always tune off when this whole thing goes on. But all I know is that she won the match. And uh, I don't know who she fought, but it looked like a jobber. I did not know who that is. But up next, we got the real match. The takeover match. I felt like it should have happened. But it, again, we got on free TV. Raquel Gonzalez versus Rhea Ripley. Last woman standing. What a match. This goes all the way top in uh, Becky Lynch and Charlotte. Like, it's up there. Like, those are two right there. Like, those two last women standing match, that's how good this was. This was able to top that. Not gonna lie. Please go check it out. What a match. Felt huge. You had uh, the Dakota Kai coming out. She tried helping out. And she did. But Rhea Ripley just threw her like, <laughs> like it was nothing. But at the end, Raquel Gonzalez was the last woman standing. And um, I'm excited. It looks like she's gonna get a push. After that, we had Shotzi Blackheart. And I believe... It, yeah, Shotzi Blackheart teamed up with Kushida to take on Candice LeRae and Johnny Gargano. This is a match I really didn't watch. I was in and out with it. You know what I mean? But I did see at the end when, of course, you guys knew who's going to win. Shotzi Blackheart and obviously Kushida, they won. It was pretty cool. Um, up next is the big talking point. Finn Balor, Kyle Riley 2. So this is the end, like Finn Balor said. This is the end. What a match it was. It was just phenomenal. It was just as good as a 31 TakeOver 31 match. If you guys didn't go, please go check it out. It was just phenomenal. At the end, you just had Finn Balor retain with a submission, with a brutal submission. Because, you know, during the match, um, kayfabe-wise, uh, Kyle O'Reilly injured his jaw or something. So, you know, Finn Balor had this submission move where his hands, both his hands was tight around his, like, his jaw and mouth. So, it looked pretty devastating. Kyle O'Reilly tapped out. Then you see just Finn Balor just bleeding and everything. I'm not going to show that because you know how YouTube be. Then you have the Undisputed Era coming out. And I'm assuming they're going to do it too sweet. They kind of like they did uh, over in AEW. But they didn't. You just had Adam Cole there. You had the whole Undisputed Era. They came to check on Kyle. Kyle O'Reilly was like disappointed. And Finn Balor was just standing there as a champ. And he let his know that he's back and he's ready to go. No Karrion Cross after. So I was kind of expecting Karrion Cross no matter what happened in this match. It didn't, but it looks like he's going to go after him here after this big win he also had with uh, Damian Priest. So we'll see what happens. Fun night, fun show. Thank you guys for watching the review. Please make sure to subscribe. And i see you in the next one. Peace.